Nigel, a fine victory. Was that the best performance under your short reign so far as manager? Certainly at first half, yes. Uh, I thought we played well on Saturday uh, and at Scunthorpe in patches, uh, but I thought the first half tonight eclipsed all of those. Uh, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And the 2-0 didn't reflect uh, the dominance and the amount of chances created. Um, only one downside the whole evening, conceding the goal in the 91st, 92nd minute. Uh, I don't think we deserved, uh, I thought we deserved a clean sheet tonight. And I thought the margin should have been more than one goal. You started the game again with such intent. Yeah, which is something that we've talked about an awful lot, especially here, making it difficult even without supporters, making it a difficult place to come. Uh, but, you know, people look at the, the pictures and see the pitch. It's been difficult at times. And, but I thought the quality of the football in the conditions, again, uh, was outstanding tonight. And then second half was a different proposition altogether. We had to fight and scrap and defend at times without Marek having too much to do. Uh, and then when we had opportunities, uh, I thought we were a bit unlucky, nothing dropped for a second half. Yeah, George Lapsley got you going with a lovely strike from outside the box. Yes, yeah, good goal. Uh, our two goal scorers at the moment, you know, uh, as well, Laps and Jordan. Um, Jordan's absolutely on fire. Uh, he's just said that's the best spell in his career, six in four. Um, but he, he must be brimming with confidence at the moment. So two great goals again. Uh, could have had more, could have had more. And the man with the golden touch, Jordan Barry. Mm. Yeah. Everything he's touching is, is turning into goals. Yeah, he had a couple of other opportunities tonight, half chances and things, which he hit well and just didn't quite ricochet or hit, they got blocks in and everything. But uh, it's lovely to see him with a big smile on his face with, those, uh, with the goals that he's getting at the moment. In a sense, you, in that first half, you just carried on from where you left on Saturday at, at home to Port Vale. Yeah, we talked uh, briefly on Monday about the only disappointment and it was last 10 or 15 minutes against Port Vale when we should have gone on and got more goals um, and we just want to stay on the front foot. Uh, we said to the players, you'll do less running that way if you keep working, keep them in their half. Uh, and I think even, you know, Perchy joining in, some of the, the one-twos and one-and-two touch football around their penalty area uh, was, was, was brilliant tonight. Difficult to pick out... Uh, one player or, or even two mm. after such a good yep. team performance. But tactically, I think it might be a bit of a masterstroke from you in terms of putting George Lapsley a little, little deeper in that midfield position. He seems to be reading the game far superior than, yep. than ever before. Well, he's a good player and he's an intelligent player. Uh, and sometimes the midfielder, I chat with him last week or the week before, if you start too far up, it's easier for people to pick him up. If he's coming from deeper, he can make his runs and also he helps out in midfield brilliantly. He gets his tackles in, wins his headers uh, and then they make a very good three in there. Uh, I think the last two or three games, uh, I think Maris Clark uh, and Laps have been brilliant and controlled the game from those positions. Yeah, it's allowing Ollie Clark, as you intimate there, to get further forward. Is that where you want to see him, ideally, much further up the field? Yeah, I think, I, I think you know, we, we, we talked about it uh, before Saturday and George Maris, uh, maybe not defensively as, as solid as Ollie at times, but he handles the ball a bit better. Uh, and then Ollie's strength and his running and his power comes into play uh, when he can make those forward runs. You were no doubt expecting a different Salford outfit, so to speak, to come at you in the second half. And you had to show a different type of, yeah. of game, really, to, uh, to, to keep them at bay. Yeah, I think they started the first half an hour or so, trying to play out from the back. And we caught them a few times just with our energy and our honesty and pressing. Uh, and then the last five, ten minutes of the first half, they went more direct. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then continued. They brought the big lad on at half time. So we knew they were going to you know, get it up to him and, and play for second balls. Uh, but I thought the two centre halves won 99% of the headers tonight and handled it brilliantly. Aside from the three points, what pleased you most? Whole team performance. You said you couldn't pick a man of the match tonight. Uh, there was 11 of them. Uh, consistency on the performances the last three uh, has been great. Uh, and I say the different aspects that we showed in the second half uh, was very pleasing. To play that well in the first half and then face a different 45 minutes and still deal with it and still get it down and play at times, uh, I think we, I thought we showed a lot of maturity as a team. It underlined, didn't it, uh, how good this performance was, that you didn't need to make any changes? No, we couldn't. I've just said to the subs, actually, to Stephen and to Cookie, Stephen McLaughlin and Cookie, I said, you're not getting on in that. <laughs> there wasn't anybody, uh, unless somebody had got an injury or something, uh, there wasn't anybody that we could have brought off there. You're starting to make small milestones here, uh, Nigel. A third successive victory now. 
for the first time in the league for Mansfield for two years. Brilliant. Well, it's important to get back-to-backs first time in 14 months. Now we've got the three. Uh, we want to try and get a result in the Cup and then two big league games after that. So we've just got to keep the momentum going, keep the, the ball rolling along nicely uh, and see where we go. Uh, but still early days. You know, it's, it's only been less than a couple of months. Uh, but it's been very encouraging seeing what the players have done so far. You can see on the field how much more confident the players are now, certainly in this last batch. Can you feel that day to day and in the dressing room? Well, the training, uh, we're not allowed in the dressing room apart from before games, we're got, not allowed in the training ground. But the quality of training in the, the last few days, uh, yesterday we just had a game for 10 or 15 minutes at the end of some work that we did. And it's, we almost had to stop it and say, leave it, that's too good, leave it, save it for tomorrow night. And it was the same on Friday before Port Vale. Uh, the quality of the training has been excellent. And we're great believers if you train well, you'll take it into games. Nigel, thank you. Well done. Thank you.